Yo, what's up guys, it's Renan, and I'm here to bring you another video talking more about Kovacs for Valorant, and especially how I'm able to keep improving in a game like Valorant, when a lot of the time it does feel like Kovacs doesn't directly help me in the game, especially the higher and higher you go in the ranks. Well, my, my first rule of advice for you if you're just starting Kovacs is to definitely try out a bunch of different playlists. And for example, the one that I made a video on, the last video I made actually, does have a playlist which you can try out but there are other playlists that are going to be good and you can go look up different playlists on reddit youtube etc etc but my main word of advice for you guys if you're new to kovacs is to generally try to be good at all of the routines in a set playlist and keep working on them until you're like top 10 percent maybe top five percent and your fundamentals of each different aiming style are really good and once you've done that, once you have great static dots, tracking, smoothness, and things of that sort, and I do have videos on how to get better at each of those, then I would focus primarily on speed, target acquisition, and reaction time routines. For example, my playlist has quite a bit of routines like that that you can try to focus on, such as micro shot speed, cooler TAF, close fast strafe thin, etc. that will build really good habits for faster flicks and faster target acquisition. Practice locking your eyes on the targets both in-game and in Kovacs. That way your eyes will get really good at acquiring a target, especially after a fast flick. And it is something that you do have to train your eyes to do because it does sound weird, but one of the hardest things for me to learn was that after flicking fast, my eyes had a very hard time adjusting to the target very quickly. Thus my micro adjustments and my flicks were a lot slower than they could be. And in a game like Valorant, where you do have to flick very quickly, when if you flick too fast and your eyes aren't trained to lock onto the target quickly, then when you flick, everything will be blurry. And obviously, if you know your eyes can't adjust quickly enough and everything's blurry, then your micro adjustments are not going to be accurate and they're not going to be very fast. Another thing I do like doing for Valorant to keep up my skill from game to game is to do a warm up between every game I play, especially if I'm playing comp. So for example, for me, what works is doing the hard bots in the range between every single game for maybe one or two minutes, maybe not even that, depending on how well I feel, just to keep my eyes and my aim locked in from every game and thus keep me more consistent. Because one thing that's really been helping me is making sure I get at least like 21 on the hard bots before I go into the next game. And I've been really consistent, like number one or two on my team, maybe match MVP, team MVP, things like that. And I was having a hard time doing that when I didn't or do a little warm up between every game. And if you're still iffy from game to game, then I would try to do death matches and maybe one to three to help build on what I've already said, especially with the target acquisition with your eyes. However, remember that a lot of people you're facing in death matches are going to be low rank like bronze, silver, and gold, meaning that they're not going to have as good a movement, reaction time, or aim the higher and higher in rank you go. So for example, somebody like me who's in Immortal 1, a lot of the times I'll destroy a death match, but then it won't really help me in game and I feel like I'm not really performing like I do in a deathmatch, but that's obviously because in deathmatch I'm destroying gold and below players of which obviously aren't going to be as good as immortal or on average the immortal player. So I would do deathmatch to kind of warm up your aim a little bit and warm up your in-game fundamentals like counter strafing, recoil control, things of that nature, but I would definitely focus a lot of your energy on Kovacs. That's what I did, and I went from, I think, silver to diamond very quickly in like the first act I played of this game, just through practicing my aim. But the higher and higher you go, you're definitely gonna work on speed. So to recap for you guys really quick, um, work on your fundamentals in Kovacs, work on different playlists for tracking, smoothness, and definitely flicks, they are called static dots, but work on those in Kovacs until your fundamentals and all of these are very strong. Um, you can do the Voltaic benchmarks and it'll give you, you can look it up. I made a video on it. I think in my Kovacs settings, I talk about how to do the Voltaic benchmarks and everything, but you may want to look at Voltaic benchmarks and try to at least maybe get platinum in the Voltaic benchmarks. Um, that way your fundamentals in each of the routines are going to be really strong and then primarily focus on making sure that you're doing micro shot small speed um cooler tf things that require you to react very quickly because that will give you the most bang for your buck for a game like valorant where the time to kill is really really tiny 
But anyways, guys, that'll be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching.